Hello everyone, I am Akshika Gad. In this video, I will share my experience of Microsoft Engage program and interviews. I will tell you everything that from where I got to know about it, what was the selection process and what I did after my selection. But at first, what was this program about? In turn, Engage, it is a program for engineering students across India graduating in 2024. It is designed to provide a platform for engineering students to accelerate their growth and enhance industry relevant skills through mentorship, coding challenges, workshops, and networking opportunities over a period of four weeks. The participants would be offered the opportunity to interview and intern with Microsoft India based on their performance and their consistency. The eligibility criteria for this was that the student should be graduating in 2024 and should be enrolled in a full-time engineering program like bachelor's, master's, integrated dual degree and related degrees. CGPA should be 6 and above. I got to know about this program from one of my senior, so I applied for the mentorship program and uploaded my resume. It was shortlisted. After three days, a round one was conducted on 24th April. I was given 10 MCQ type questions, which I had to answer in 30 minutes. The instructions were that tab switching events were monitored and copy pasting was not allowed. Our performance was judged on the basis of the time and the answers we gave. The questions were based on the fundamentals of data structures and algorithms. The topics were stack, linked list, queue, tree traversals, and also some hardware questions were asked. Then we received the results after two days and on 27th April, my round two was conducted. We were given one subjective questions which we had to answer in 30 minutes. The instructions were same, tab switching events were monitored and copy pasting was not allowed. A subjective question was given and we had to write the steps we used to solve it. We had to write a proper algorithm and tell the space and time complexity of the method. Then after four days we received the final result and I was selected for the mentorship program. I had to choose one challenge from the three options that were given that were face recognition, data analysis, and algorithms. I could choose to develop a browser-based web application or a native mobile application. I was free to use any technology, framework, programming language, cloud platform, and database of my choice. I was told that at the end of the program, I have to upload my source code on GitHub and share the repo with them. Also, I had to submit a video demo in which I would demo demonstrate how my product works and the video length should not exceed 4 minutes. I was told that my code would be judged on the basis of execution time, memory consumption, cycle time, HTTP response time, etc. I chose face recognition as my topic. I made a very basic project. I learned the concept and made it. I used various libraries like, like Dlib library. And during the program, they taught us various things. Various sessions were held. In the tutorial sessions, they taught us various things. For an example, how to analyze an algorithm, writing pseudocodes, and the guiding principles for analysis of algorithms. For an example, we were taught about merge sort and quick sort algorithm. Throughout the program, there were, may, there were various ask me anything sessions held in which the mentors cleared our doubt very precisely. And throughout the program, we were given many assignments in which we had to tell about the progress of our project. Before the final submission, there was a session held in which they answered the questions regarding the final submission. For an example, the questions asked were, how do I submit my final project or can I approve any supporting documents? Many questions were answered. And after the final submission, there was a session held for interview preparation in which they told us that before the interview, we should revise the concepts of DSA, OOPS, CS fundamentals, DBMS and operating system. And during the interview, we should remain calm and answer the questions. After the final submission of the project, on 22nd June, I received the mail that I was advancing to the interview stage. In the mail, it was mentioned that number of interview rounds will differ for different students. Many students got direct internship offers, but I was going for the interview round. In the mail, they mentioned that before giving the interview, we should do research about the position we were interviewing for and about the Microsoft's culture. After receiving the mail on 19th July, I gave my first interview. In the interview, at first, the interviewer asked me to give the introduction. After that, he gave his introduction and asked me various technical questions regarding my project. Some of the questions were that he asked me about the libraries that I used and to describe the libraries. And then he asked me about the functionality of my project. After that, he gave me a DSA question and asked me to discuss the approaches. I discussed two, three approaches with him that we could use to solve it. 
After discussion, he was quite satisfied with the approaches and he asked me to quote the best one. I quoted the uh, answer and then he asked me to optimize my quote and tell about the space and time complexity of the method that I found best. I told everything but while writing the quote, I was quite anxious and made a few mistakes. But the interviewer was very nice. He helped me out. The duration of first round was of around 40 minutes and after that I received my result on uh, 21st. And after that, my second round was held on 27th of July. My second interview round was of around 50 minutes. At first, the interviewer asked me to introduce myself and then he gave his introduction. After the introductions, he gave me a situation and asked technical questions regarding it. The questions were based on the topic, operating system and database management system. I answered the questions, but then he asked me to tell optimized approaches to solve technical issues. I was able to answer the questions, but I was not able to tell some technical terms. After that, he told me to ask any questions that were in my mind. I asked two to three questions regarding Microsoft and its culture, and then my interview ended. I would suggest each eligible candidate to fill the form for the mentorship program as it's a great opportunity. I would like to thank everyone who supported me in my journey, and I would like to thank Aim to Crack for giving me a platform to share my experience. Thank you.